Mr. Graham's homework help. Time for homework help. Yeah, yeah. Let's get started. Uh, you should be on page 72 and 73. Only three problems, but they require your close attention. Draw the next two shapes in the shape pattern below. Wow, that's super easy. <laughs> All right, so um, analyze it carefully. One way, and I'm actually teaching you something that may come up later, is to assign each different thing in the shape, I mean in the pattern, a letter. So this shape right here, we can call that A. This shape right here, we can call that B. That's the A shape, that's the B shape. Uh, this looks like just like that one, so that's another B shape. And then this right here, well that's A again. And then it looks like it's about to repeat, doesn't it? You see it goes A, B, B, A, B, and then they say draw the next two. So there are two blanks that we're going to want to fill in. And if, the pro if it goes A, B, B, A, B, B, what would be next? A, B, B, A, B, B, A. So that's how you can uh, uh, understand a pattern by assigning each piece, each different piece, its own letter. These are the same, so they're both B's. And these are the same, so they're both A's. And it helps us see the next steps. Like, oh, a B is next. A, B, B, A, B, B. So I got to draw like, oh boy, my drawing skills. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, dear. Uh, I'm going to cheat a little bit. You actually have to draw them. But look what Mr. Graham's going to do. He's going to find that. He's going to say, let's see, that's a uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. That's a seven shaped thing. There you go. And there you go. <laughs> I don't have to draw because I can just kind of use uh, the smart board program to draw the shape for me. And then here's like a, a weird looking pentagon that's next. Because this has to match that and A has to match A. So let me draw that real quick. Uh, not really drawing. Kind of cheating a little bit. Uh, and it looks like it wants me to stretch it out, kind of. Kind of like that. That's pretty good, right? Yeah, there you go. I bet you wish you, your pencil could do that for you, right? So that's what the problem would about look like, and that's the solution. What we did is we took uh, our pattern, and we went A, B, B, A, B, B, A, and if it wanted us to keep going, we could. We could have gone B, B. We could have gone on forever, but luckily for us, they only asked us to draw the next two shapes in the pattern. Moving on. Eva drew a shape pattern that goes back and forth between rectangles and ovals. Ovals. What are two other patterns shown in this set of shapes? Okay. So, one pattern is that it goes rectangle oval rectangle oval rectangle oval but what they're trying to get you to see is that you can think of patterns in different ways even though they're all gonna be kind of similar so I'm gonna continue the pattern a little bit and you can too if you want just to give myself wow it got uglier as I went on sorry just to give myself more to think about like they're thinking about it with only two steps. Rectangle oval. Rectangle oval. Rectangle oval. You can also think of it as rectangle oval rectangle. Oval rectangle oval. Rectangle oval rectangle. Oval rectangle oval. So it's basically just splitting it into bite-sized chunks that you are more uh comfortable working with. Like before you might think the only pattern is um, rectangle oval, rectangle oval, but now I'm thinking of it as rectangle oval, rectangle, oval, rectangle oval, rectangle oval, rectangle, oval, rectangle oval. 
So it's like different ways of seeing the same pattern. So what are two other patterns shown in this set of shape, set of shapes? One pattern is rectangle, oval, rectangle, followed by oval, rectangle, oval. But they want two other patterns. And for the second one, why not use what I showed you a second ago? Think of it in terms of um, um, letters. Rectangles are A, ovals are B. Then you can say it's an A, B, A, B, A, B pattern. Or you could think of it in terms of the homework that we saw um, uh, yesterday where they gave each shape a number. And how would you do that? Well, you could do that by looking at the sides. This has four sides. This is just an oval, so it doesn't really have a side. It has zero sides. Four sides, zero sides. So another way to look at it, and this is the one I'm going to choose to, um, to type in, is to look at the sides. You can also look at the sides and see that the pattern is 4, 0, 4, 0. 4, one more time, 0. And just to make sure the person knows what we're talking about, like if anyone is grading this, we can just say because a rectangle has four sides and an oval has zero. Cool. Let's move on to the last one. Oops, too far. Lana wrote, Lana wrote the pattern below. 7, 14, 21, 28, 35. If the pattern continues, what would be the next number in the pattern? Circle the letter of the correct answer. Now, this is yet another reason. Wow, it looks like factors and division, and it, and it just never goes away. But this is another reason why I say you got to know your times tables. Because if you do, seeing this pattern is as simple as knowing your times tables. 7, 14, 21, 28, 35. What's the next 7 times table after 35? ba 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 is 42. That's 7 times 6. Diego chose D as the correct answer. How did he get that answer? You know what? Um, phew, I'm not sure. There's a couple things he could have done wrong. Let's see. Diego might have accidentally picked the wrong seven times table. Or maybe he accidentally accidentally doubled 35. You see how it ends in 35? If you double 35, that will give you 70. And maybe he just thought he was supposed to double it for some reason. Or maybe he actually doubled 35, but that's not what the pattern tells you to do. It tells you to skip count by sevens. Well, there you go. Simple as that. Not a lot of homework because only three days of school. But next week it'll be another normal week of school. So I hope you enjoy this nice little relaxing time while you can. Things are about to get serious. Alright guys, see you tomorrow in school. Bye.